Uh, my name is Rebecca Poling, and I work for Lutheran Social Services of the South. And uh, right now I'm serving as a major gifts officer in, in development for my organization. So um, I get to I get to partner with the community and just ask people to, to love our kids and love our families and just participate in what we do. I absolutely love what I do. I'm, I'm so passionate about it. So um, what I like to do is I'm, I like to go into the community and, and find people who are who are really passionate about the same things that we're passionate about. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that care about children's welfare um, and who are you know, who are wanting to give of their time and of their talents and of their treasure, um, but they don't always know how to do that and so how to connect where their heart is and, and what they're passionate about with, with a really good cause. And uh, I'm, I'm really blessed because I've, I've got a really good cause. And um, I, I love our organization. We're, we're great stewards of our money. Um, we're great stewards of our time and of our people. And um, I, my husband and I, you know, we support our organization. We wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't know that they were, you know, good stewards of, of what they do. But um, my favorite part is, is meeting with people and figuring out what they want to accomplish and, and what their goals are and, and um, what, what really resonates with them and what, what mission and ministry is closest to their heart and then helping them to realize that through supporting what we do and, and partnering with us in mission. And um, so right now in, um, in the area that I'm serving, um, I've got about 200 kids and they're all foster kids. So all of our kids have been They've been abused and they've been neglected and they've been abandoned. Um, they've, been, they've been really let down, you know, and they've seen and experienced more nightmarish horror than you and I can possibly imagine, right? So, giving people the opportunity to offer hope to those kids, and, and um, one of the things I really love about, about what I do is um, I see hope everywhere. And so, we, we get in the most troubled. Um, troubled kids with the, the darkest pasts and the, the most horrific stories, but instead of focusing and concentrating on the junk that happened to them and, and, and the, the weight of all of that, I get to focus on the hope and the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I, I get to, to work with foster parents who, you know, day in and day out, they're pouring their lives into these kids and making sure that they're well cared for and that they're loved and that they're comforted um, and that, the, you know, they, they really get to find that sense of hope and purpose again. Um, and, it, and the coolest part is I don't just get to work with, see the kids and work with the foster families and with a really good staff, but we get to work with people in the community that can come alongside us and, and help, you know, give those kids that brighter future. Um, so basically we get to take that that righteous indignation that you feel when you hear about child abuse, you know, that, that anger and that frustration that wells up in you when you hear those stories, and we get to channel that into something really powerful and really good and really meaningful. Um, we, you know, we get to actually make a real difference. At the end of the day, that makes me feel incredibly humbled and incredibly grateful. Um, I feel like at the end of the day, I spend most of my time going, who am I? Who am I to get to see these little miracles, to get to know the incredible philanthropists that I know and, 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 and the people, you know, no matter no matter what they can give, if it's a dollar or if it's a million dollars, it doesn't matter. They're, they're giving up their treasure and of their time. Um, so I sometimes I feel really small, you know, just like a small piece of the puzzle. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know why God has given me this um, really beautiful gift and, and getting to participate in this ministry, um, but he has and so I'm I feel like, uh, I don't know, my, my heart just overflows with, with gratitude and, and um, I just, just, just get to be humbled by um, watching other people do what they do and, uh, and just praising the Lord for that. It's pretty cool.